In this video, I will talk about how to plot a graph of distance and the measured electric field. You already have measured the electric field. You already have this table here. Once you have this table, which you got from the phase simulation, how are you going to plot the graph of distance and the electric field? So. Here I have measured the electric field at the different distances. So this each square represents the 50 centimeter. And I have measured by using this sensor at the different distances. So at 50 centimeters, at a, it is 35.8, at a 1 meter, 9.09. .09. And if you keep going on, then you can measure up to 5 meter. So or 500 centimeters. So this is the distance and this is the measured electric field. Once you have all this data, we need to plot the graph. How are we going to plot the graph? First, let's change this distance to meter. In order to do, do that, let me change a little bit here. How are we going to do it? So first, put the is equal to sign. Select this cell and divide it by 100. If you divide it by 100, then you change from centimeter to meter and then hit the enter sign. And then select the cell and double click it here. Then you get the 5 centimeter to 5 meter. That's how you're going to change from one unit to another unit. The next thing is Calculate electric field. How are you going to calculate them? We know the formula for calculating electric field is K Q over R square. And this is a value of K, which is a constant, and Q in this case is also a constant, which is 1 nano coulomb, which is 1 times 10 to the negative 9. And we're going to use this formula to calculate our electric field. Okay, so first thing, what you have to do for the is equal to sign then select the value of k this is the value of k times multiplication sign q this is a q divided by r square you see this is r square so this is r and now you have to square this one square and then hit the enter sign and select the cell and you see zero here and i'll explain why zero here because this column is left blank and for all the calculation you have the same value of k so I'm just going to select the k and q and drag it because we have the same k and q value okay so that's how we measure the electric field but we do not need that much the decimal places so what we're going to do is select all this entire column go to the format cell and then select the number just the number and the decimal places you might want maybe two okay this is how we calculated the electric field so this is the measured electric field and this is the calculated electric field by using the formula now we're going to plot a graph we're going to plot a graph of this distance and then the electric field this measured electric field so I'm going to select these two columns go to insert and then select a scatter diagram so this tells you the scatter the the variation of the electric field with the distance so write down distance okay and now once you hit have this plus sign click onto the plus sign and then you can do the axis title so axis title what is the along the y-axis it is the electric field electric field and what's the unit volt per meter and then along the x along the x-axis it is distance and the unit is meter
meter. And now we have to do the best fit. You have to see how does this variation, how you can find the equation. So go to again this line and you see the trend line. Select this arrow here. Go to more options. For this kind of variation, oh, okay. Go back again here, trend line. More options. I need to turn line again. More turn line options. Okay. Now I see the power sign here. If you click on the power sign, you see it fits much better. That's how it has to be the power sign. And you need to see the equation as well. So click on to the equation. Let me zoom a little bit this one. I can okay so this is the variation of the electric field with the distance when you plot this graph make sure that it is in the different color so that I can uh, know that you did it by yourself okay so now how do you calculate the KQ value you see now this uh, this value is 9.032 and the power is x to the minus 2 value which makes sense because the electric field varies as 1 over r squared which is the inverse squared law, law. and I can get this value 9.03 if I just have multiplied these two numbers this number times this number you see this is close to the 9 which is 9.03 now we found out the equation as well of this line here okay so this is how you plot a graph in Excel and you, are, you also learned how to fit a line how to find out the equation how to do the multiplication how to use the, how to calculate or find out the values of an equation okay so again if you have any questions please write down in the comment section below and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.